Greetings and welcome to The Contracting Guy. I am The Contracting Guy, and this episode is episode 200. Can't believe. It was only like a while back that really started. But episode 200. Today I want to talk about something that's uh, that was posed to me, and I gave it some thought. And it has to do with actually more retail sales. Oh, that's not government contracting. Well, perhaps. It's more like non-appropriated funds contracting. It has a lot of similarity to uh, government contracting. But more importantly, it's doing business with the government. So if you do uh, sell things that you know the Department of Defense doesn't use, like trinkets and toys and stuff like that, um, there might be another avenue in, in selling these things. So I want to point out, this is where we're going with today's episode. We're going to be looking at a couple of places. One is the exchange systems, the Army Exchange, the Navy Exchange, the Air Force Exchange, Coast Guard Exchange, all those exchange services. And then we're also going to take a quick peek at the other places that sell stuff. And that really is, um, you take a look at the National Park Service, the kind of things that they sell. Now, all of these things are being sold. You go to the parks or you go to a Navy exchange or any exchange system, you're going to find things for sale. It's not all under the auspices of the Department of Defense. As the Coast Guard has theirs under uh, Homeland Security and um, and then the Park Service under the Park Service. So I want to point you in a direction that not everything that you might want to sell to the government is going to be bought by a uh, far part, you know, 12 purchase, but they're going to be uh, maybe purchased under a non-appropriated fund type of purchase, a resale purpose or a purchase. So you might want to consider that. Now, there's really two ways to make these sales. And this is important because it's similar to the process by which you do this for um, commercial business. First off, you get to know someone. You get to know the manager of the, of the exchange. I'll use the exchange, but it could be applied to any of them. Uh, park service. You know the manager. You get to meet them. You get to show them what you do. You get to show them how it fits into their into their plan for that particular sales entity. You know, for the Park Service, if you're going to be going to the Grand Canyon, something that deals with the Southwest and Grand Canyon might be helpful. Uh, not very helpful if you're going to be selling something that is the Pacific uh, Northwest or the uh, the Northeast, you know, in Maine. You want to look at something that is, you know, tailored to that group. The same is true for the things happen in the exchange services. You want to make sure that they're tailored to the people that you're looking for and uh, to the interest of that particular manager. So first, get to know the manager. Get to know them. Secondly, is that fit? try to fit in what you do to what they need. You know, they need to sell something. They want to sell something. They want to appeal to their customer base. Well, how do you fit into that? You're going to need to understand that. Now, that's the first way. You take a look at, and this is sort of the from the bottoms up approach. Get to know the manager. And through the manager, you get access to the system. Because each manager has a degree of autonomy. They can they can bring something on at a local level. If it is so stinking great, they might recommend it to go at a national level. That's one. The second is going straight to the exchange services in DC or wherever the headquarters is. I don't recommend that because that means you've got to push a lot of stuff forward. And that means you have to appeal to one person uh, in an area that might be a niche market. So keep in mind, 
if you go national, you're going to have to appeal to a greater number of uh, one person or two people or a committee of people, but they're going to have a really uh, nuanced approach. But if you appeal to one person in a local area whom you know, because you've gone ahead and met and that you've talked to, you suddenly have a greater access to the opportunity. Higher up you go, the opportunities become less accessible. And perhaps it's because maybe you're located in the West Coast and the uh, the headquarters is located on the East Coast. And if you're walking in the door, that's one thing. If you're calling on the phone and say, hey, would you take my call? Eh, not interested. Frankly, I wouldn't be interested either. The critical point is face-to-face -face communication. You get to know the person. You get to look at their situation, their setup, and you can say, okay, this is where it fits. This is where, uh, this is how I see it work for you. What can we do? Can we try some things out local? Maybe I try a few more things, um, I don't know, in, uh, in a small spot in your store. You can tailor your approach to that spot. If it works out well, they may go ahead and recommend it to their other uh, park service or exchange services or whatever it might be, because they talk to each other. And if it's a winner, they're going to want to share that. They have no problem with being able to share successes. But if you're, you know, if it's not good, oh, well, they're going to share that too. And you can rest assured that ain't going to happen for you for a long time. So here's the deal. If you want access to the, the federal marketplace, but in the retail sense, you're going to have to approach, in my opinion, my suggestion, each location and, and approach it in a way that is tailored to them. When you tailor it to them, they are going to be more responsive to what you, you're looking for because you're responsive to what they need. By looking out for them, they're going to look out for you. But at first, you have to take the action. So exchanges, commissaries, uh, to some extent the commissaries, they're in a different command. Um, the uh, you look at the park service because they sell stuff. The VA they have exchanges too. The Coast Guard they have exchanges also. So they have these commercial entities within their their uh, group. Those are the places to go to. I think that that's in, when you start looking at opportunities. Look at what those opportunities might bring as well. You might know uh, someone. If you don't, start to meet people and make friends and get your product out there so that they can feel what you have and recognize that, yeah, we need to sell it in our store. This is episode 200. I am the contracting guy. I'm out. Thank you for watching the contracting guy. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. We'd appreciate that. This is the Contracting Guy. I'm out.